what's up y'all so uh it's sunday it's my day off figured i'd do something fun so uh i got the wife on the back here and we're gonna go out to the back side of palo Duro canyon it's about a 50 mile ride and more importantly they got a cool lookout point up there and it's about the closest you get to a twisties in my area as y'all might have noticed from my videos the panhandle of texas leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to curvy roads and when you do get curves there's usually traffic but back here is usually pretty nice um, a little bit windier and i prefer it but uh, i'm i'm from wyoming dude <laughs> wind is a, a way of life i suppose i was hoping when i moved to texas i was finally away from the wind but okay she looks like she is really just contemplating life um anyway sorry i lost my train of thought that was odd um yeah when i moved down here i was hoping to get away from the wind i did not but we're gonna go and enjoy palo duro canyon and uh i'm gonna give you guys some video time of it Here's 
some of the fun stuff. I keep in mind, I have a passenger, I'm not getting crazy on turns, so y'all can go ahead and follow the comments on my bike means, or my kickstand means my bike more than I do, but we're gonna enjoy some of the curves. Also springtime, and I don't quite trust the roads so not to have gravel in them. This is Caladura Canyon. Um, it's like the back side of the state park. So, man, I've always hated curvy roads going downhill, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do better going uphill. Yeah, so here we go. Beautiful, ain't it? I've been out here so I'm not as familiar with the road you know it's been about a year I'm kind of feeling it out a little bit I'm not one of those that goes fast when I'm not comfortable with it and I really don't like going fast into blind spots if you know what I mean but I do like to have fun I really need to just suck it up and get track ready and get the money up and start going to tracks because I love curves, I love leaning, but man, I'm in the panhandle, I don't do a lot of leaning anymore, so I'm not as comfortable with it. Yeah, I'm here. 
I just pushed the window, but I'm just uh, got it so windy, it's like blowing me all around, and I'm half dead. I'm probably like screaming in the camera there. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, that's what out take a little walk around so pretty good view you can see I got my little thumbnail from off here I just took it a few minutes ago don't mind these weeds that are probably gonna be in it I just can't win so yeah pretty and my lovely wife the bike with a stupid stock exhaust um, my spark's supposed to be here within a week or two. <sighs> Been waiting forever, y'all. And then I got to send off my ECU for a tune. And, uh, we'll have it for a minute. So this is, uh, last summer, I guess this guy, uh, see, it shows a chick in the pictures, but I think it was a guy. At, I, I seem to remember the news article drove his, uh, car off the cliff here, man. It's a real sad story. Oh, it's windy. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Look at this this brownness this dirt so oh we got this cactus that a pet something around, I've never seen it before of course I've never really lived where there's cactus um, I guess Colorado has some cactus but but they carve things in these cactuses um, maybe it's not this one I think it's that one over there but I'll show y'all real quick anyways oh yeah see they got all sorts of stuff carved in it. Oh, man. People just destroyed it. People suck, dude. I mean, the carving is... In a way, I think it's cool. But in a way, I'm just like, man, that's cool. Just carving a live cactus, you know? <laughs> Grab a hold of that bad boy. <laughs> I had one of those in my yard when I moved to my house. Man, I've been trying to get rid of it for two years. Those things are like cockroaches, bruh. They, uh, they do not go away. So... Yeah, just show you. It's one of my favorite spots around the area, man. It reminds me of Colorado. I don't know why she got her helmet on. I'm not leaving just yet. I'm guessing she's saying she wants to leave. Yo, when I say it's windy now, I mean it is windy. Hey, guy, I need you to get in your lane. I know there's not much there, but you need to have it. So this is a different way back. It's got some ride curves on it. I took it once last summer. It's actually the road where uh, I have my uh, 636 of the Graves flyby on. I did it out on this road. Uh, once I get the spark exhaust on here, it'll be time for a flyby on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I actually did better coming back because I was, you know, knew the road was good. I should have recorded it. It would have been better than the first one because I was a little scaredy cat, but um, say what you want. I say one thing I promote is never go faster than you're comfortable with. Dang what everyone thinks, you know? So, yeah, I'm just heading back into the Rillo now and I'm going to catch the chiropractor because I'm old and, you know, I 
sit on my butt all day for work so my back be hurt. Believe it or not, the sport bike doesn't really mess with my back too much. You'd think it would, but I think over the years I've learned how to use like my core strength and my legs more. You know, I've learned how to keep my arms pretty loose. I don't really death grip the handlebars. So yeah, we're just chilling now. And yeah, look how green that is. Isn't that nice? It is. But then you see all the, the brown in the sky from the wind. I call them Texas blizzards, man. <laughs> Panhandle blizzard, I don't know. They just, the wind gets blown and it's just the whole sky gets brown and dingy. I call it a brown out. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I'll do better ones that ride further on in this summer, you know, so y'all can, you know, actually, See me do some decent curves on it. It's got nice curves. They're high speed curves, which is kind of neat. They're not like you know the low speed ones, but they're still cool. Um, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my very windy ride, and I'll get this video edited, put up in the next day or two. Y'all stay up.